Welcome to Grandma with Cow Brew! Yay! Hey guys, I'm a cow. Moo. <laughs> On today's episode, we have a package that I got from family that contains chips, or should I say crisps, Ooh. and a couple beers straight from Ireland! Thanks, guys! Yeah, that's Thank amazing! Thank you so much! Appreciate it! Fam! Alright, let's uh, jump in here. Lofi! Pick the chips you want to start with. I gotta go with the fucking meanies! Are you kidding me? Look at this artwork! Is this not insanely cool? Like their little, their little um, ghosts from the uh, uh, Ghostbuster cereal. Oh. Remember those? Oh. But a lot of them come like in <laughs> duplex. Whoa. There. They look like exploded Whoa. rib cages. Yeah, they're pickled right, yeah. flavored. They're like pickled onion. Twins. Yeah. All right. Little wings or something. They they smell very like. Vinegar Oops. and, and that one's from Bob. salt and vinegary. Yeah, it's pickled onion flavor. I know, I'm excited. I like pickled onion. God damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna get one of these in my mouth. What a curious flavor. Yeah. It's somewhere between like a onion and a ketchup. salt and vinegar chip. Really? I'm getting kind of ketchup y. Okay, so I can see where that mat's coming from. Those are fucking good, man. Mm -hmm. They are good. To keep your meaties in perfect condition, you should store them in a cool, dry place away from bright lights and strong flavors. Once mm -hmm. open, store in an airtight container. Hmm. Right on. Yeah, those they're, are nice. They're like gremlins. you got to keep them in a dark place. and <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, they'll mm. produce the gremlins. Nice and tang. Just a little bit of onion. Yeah, yeah. I and like them. I like them. Really good. The texture does remind me of Sabertones, which is the other like weed Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. And those are kind of tangy too. So. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit along that line, but you know, more like more white flavored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bueno, why don't you go pick out the next one? Um, I'm gonna go with the hunky dories. Hunky dory. Hunky dories. <laughs> Buffalo. So, I'm assuming these are supposed to be like buffalo chicken. I might be just be buffalo. <laughs> I don't know how they do over in Ireland. I don't know. They got what, buffaloes in Ireland? Maybe. <laughs> it's got an American flag on, on the on the cover. Yeah. That's weird. Which is a little bit weird. Yeah. Maybe they're saying like this is an American flavor. Mm -hmm. That could be, yeah. It doesn't, the smell doesn't remind me of buffalo sauce at all. Yeah, uh -uh. So. So we'll give it a go, huh? This smells Vegemite. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it smells like a shoe. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, see, it tastes like a buffalo. <laughs> it's yeah, it's kind of tangy and almost buffalo saucy at first, but then it gets like really salty I'm and sweet. I think that's a residual from the uh, pickle chips there. Well, why it's gonna tang at first? It reminds me of mesquite of some kind. Yeah. Like it's 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 drifting towards a barbecue flavor. Uh-huh. But it's not it's not bringing the sweetness that a barbecue sauce would have. So it's like I get a little bit of sweetness out of that. This is like smokehouse or something flavor, mm -hmm. you know. This isn't this isn't uh buffalo at all. Yeah, but also kind of beef brothy, I want to say. It doesn't taste like buffalo chicken and it also doesn't taste really like buffalo. Yeah. I'm this not sure is, what that flavor is. This is like the Barbecue. same caricature as our oriental flavored ramen. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, it's it's from over there, it's trust us. Yeah, it says it spicy spicy buffalo buffalo like some flavor. things they got. Yeah, spicy buffalo wing flavor. That's not fucking buffalo wings all at <laughs> all. Next chip. Hey Pink, why don't you pick? Okay. <laughs> I'm picking a Kreog. Kyogs! Kyog! <laughs> Sweet chili and Irish red, red pepper. What? Is, what's an Irish red pepper? I was wondering that myself. Uh, I mean, there's peppers on here. Is it like a Scotch bonnet? I don't. There's several types of peppers on uh, drawn on this. <laughs> it smells a little bit like a gym bag in there. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's barbecue. Yeah. Again, this one's oddly sweet. Mm -hmm. They put a lot of sugar on their crisps. Just like a, I don't know, like it was in the vicinity, vicinity of other chips that were spicy, but not actually spicy. And it's it's going like a third of the way towards a barbecue chip, much like these other ones. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just like it's all just begging to be barbecue. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Which I don't mind. I don't mind a variety of barbecue flavors, but it's just 
She's not used to all chips being sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, they are, like, small batch chips and shit, so... Yeah. I mean, that's cool. And they definitely... The quality of the chip is still good. Like, yeah. the crisp oh, yeah. itself... Oh, yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. Uh, before we get our next chip... Uh, yeah, let's, seriously. Let's, let's break that up. Break this up with some... Some... O'Hara's beer. Le 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 Leanne... Let's say that word. <laughs> Le Leanne... Leanne Folan? What is, what is that... What is that particular... Uh, I'm sure that means something. Uh, hey, leather jacket guy, why don't you fill us in with the hell all this shit is? <laughs> this one's coming in at 6%. Ab. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. That smells very nutty. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. It's a very chocolatey mocha. Uh huh. And the, the aftertaste, you get some of that nice coffee sort of bitter. Mm hmm. Which doesn't, it, 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 so it doesn't say too sweet in your mouth when you drink it. Yeah. It makes you kind of crave a little bit, another sip. I know, right? right? It's it's just like all up in this joint. <laughs> no animals are hard, right? Somebody help me. We're <laughs> all crazy. <laughs> all right, chump test. <laughs> all right, then. Chug good tea. Mmm. That's tasty. God damn. Yeah, it's smooth when you chug it. Rich when you sip it. test. Oh, yeah. horrors. Six percent. Chocolate middle. Yeah, this shit's good. Go, if you find this stuff and you're into dark beers, yeah. Final chips. Irish cheddar and red onion. Ooh. What is just gonna taste like sour cream and onion chips? <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> that should be like a really strong cheese. The, the like, smells coming out of these chips aren't so great, I, I gotta say. say. Like, don't <laughs> smell them. They don't taste the way that they, they smell. Smell a little... Yeah, but still, sometimes they do. A little earthy. <laughs> Guess would be the nice way to say it. Because it's made with real potatoes. <laughs> While he's huffing the bag, yeah. It Whoa. reminds me of something. Whoa. Strong onion flavor. See, an American chip... really good. American chip, I would really expect to taste like cheese forward. Like you taste just strong, strong cheese first, with a little bit of onion. This one's kind of the opposite. I just get a, a ton of onion with a little bit of cheese. Not bad though. Yeah. I mean, I like it. It tastes like it's going to make your breath smell hor horrendous after you're done eating them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does anybody know the, the seasoning on oyster crackers? Oh, like, if yeah. that was stronger, it would be this. Yeah. It would yeah, have to be a lot stronger. But, but if I, like, took a mouthful of oyster crackers, because yeah. I'm fat, uh, like, I, that's what, like, I, I got <laughs> that. Like, it's just a faint hint of it, though, where it's like, there would be a lot more starch there, and yeah. here it's strong and powerful. More of a lighter, uh, more oniony chicken in a biscuit, almost. That's that, though. These meanies. Definitely the best. Crisp. Yeah, I'd say those are the winner, and then these ones next, then yep. those, and then not the buffalo. Yeah. If I'm down for a night of drinking, I would go with the meanies first, and then these, but uh, otherwise, like, I'd probably take a bag of these. Mm. Now, let's finish this episode off with our Guinness Milk Stout. Yay! Now, favorites. the thing about Guinness is that, like, at least here, whenever they ship other flavors over here, they always suck. Yeah. So, I'm hoping that they, like... Over there, their specialty flavors aren't suck. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big fan of milk stouts to begin with, so hopefully... I love me some milk hopefully stouts. Hopefully this will change stuff. You guys want to hear a funny Guinness story? Nope. Nope. Cheers. Not bad. I got spoiled with the O'Hara's first, I think. Yeah, I think <laughs> you're right. This is a nice beer, but it's just not quite what I just drank. It has that sort of lightness that Guinness has, you know, but it, but it, it's obviously it's not, you know, um, the fucking ball or whatever the fucking nitro. nitro. Yeah, it's, it's not got, nitro. I think it's got a bit more smokiness to it than yeah, like one of the. Yeah, you can definitely tell this is a milk stout versus just the regular stuff, but yeah. it's it, it's doable. I really enjoy it. I think it. if I this do. was on nitro, though, it would be amazing. Yeah, I like it. But I like it. 
Because it is, I mean, they're subtle enough with the milk stout flavor, I think, that it just kind of mm -hmm. adds a just a touch of that sweetness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but, oh, yeah, overall, it's pretty good. Yeah. If I had, like, a slice of roast and some, like, you know, some a little bit of carbs to go with it and this to drink, I would be a very happy yeah, boy. Yeah. It is actually super drinkable. Yeah. The O'Hara's is yeah. definitely better than that, though, I believe. Yeah, if I was just going to sit down in a leather chair and swirl something in a snifter, <laughs> it'd be this stuff right here. I'd, I'd love that. You're going to be a fancy boy. Yeah, yeah, I love being a fancy boy. <laughs> Once again, thank you, everybody, for sending this out to us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Delicious stuff. The meanings were the best thing. Yay. Here's the grub with cold moon. Yay! If you've had any of these tips, let me know what you think. Yeah, tell us how to pronounce these. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, let us know what you think of these beers if you have them too. This has been Grover Cool Blue. Please like, share, subscribe, go check out Lofi at twitch.tv slash Logan Molasses. Yay! Thanks for watching. Oh, Yay! Dangle your bits in my face.